I look cute today, which means we're making a YouTube video. <laughs> It's a witchy haul. Oh, I was gonna do an online witchy shopping video, but I just decided it was kind of hard for me to get my thoughts in one place. It's Nate's candle. Nate's gonna be chilling with us, and I'm gonna be putting a sticker on Freya's candle because um I want to see if she likes it. Then I oh. Oh, that's not a wasp, that's a beetle. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got a lot of stuff. We got coffee, we got snacks. We're ready. Alright, so I got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna start with, like, the not witchy. Like, it's witchy stuff, but it's, like, not super witchy. I have two of each. I got these, like, masks. It has bees on it. <laughs> it's really cute. I have more coming, too. And then I got... I have to tighten it because it's big on me. But look, they have fungi on them. If that's not the most like cottage core thing ever. <gasps> Wait, oh my God, we can like, you can, uh, there are little things on it that help you adjust. I have a very small face, so these are really tight. And they're like very thick, so they'll be good for winter. Um, But yeah, I'm really hyped about these masks because <laughs> I literally looked up on Etsy, witchy face masks, and these popped up along with the bees, and then I got some basic ones too. But yeah, witchy face masks. <laughs> and then I got sewing pins. Don't don't be in the comments saying, Frankie, why did you get sewing pins? So I can stay at you. No. Um, I got sewing pins because I have to practice being full magic, and I was out of sewing pins. Um, So I refilled my little pin cushion. And then I have some more in this little thing and then i ordered rusty nails i ordered rusty nails and i didn't get what i expected which is okay because like i should have asked but i thought i was getting like nails this is what i got you can't even see it that's how tiny it is like I dropped one. Um, I hate it here. Give me a second. I'm gonna... Oh, have I gotten my tetanus shot? <sighs> I'm so stupid. I found it. I just gave myself a heart attack, but they're like these little baby nails. I'll probably insert a picture here too of how small they are because they're so tiny. Like, yes, they're rusty. Yes, they're nails. Now, is it my fault for buying rusty nails on the internet? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've had my tetanus shot. All the both the candles are like wiggling like they're laughing and it's so funny. You're like, oh you dummy. Um, yeah, so this is the little bag of them. I'll probably use them in some spells. You know, why not? I still can't get over that like I expected like a big package of nails and they came in this little tiny thing. There's 50 of them. That's nice. Anyways, okay, so next thing I'm going through. <laughs> So he's given a package um, from Momo's Broom Closet on Etsy just to like try out some of her stuff and I genuinely like really like it which is why I'm including it in this video because like it's kind of sick and she put a lot of effort and work into the package and it was just like it made my whole day. One of them are these protection jar earrings that I'm wearing but I've been wearing them non-stop because it genuinely makes me feel so comforted. <laughs> Another few things that she included are these little stickers, Justice in the Moon card. I also got two little crystals and I got some stinging nettle then as you can tell they're in these the cutest little bottles which by the way um so they're sample sizes these bottles are sample sizes but like you're telling me that these are not great like these little bottles aren't great for like travel alter anyways so i got a bunch of those including hibiscus which is so hard for me to find i can't find hibiscus anywhere and apollo loves it lab um i got some elderflower which has also been difficult for me to find and these come in bigger sizes obviously lemongrass these are the, just the herbs that she has in her store and juniper it's so hard for me to find juniper berries there's a juniper berry tree like down there but it's not mine and i feel like i should sneak out at 3 a.m and be like ding, 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 take them four different types of salt which i didn't realize there were that many types of salt blue salt green salt red salt and black salt so they're like colored with different herbs and then mixed with salt the, sorry the bottles are really cute and i keep getting distracted and then doo -doo -doo -doo, this is my favorite thing she hand painted a pendulum divination board for me um so this i am so bad at using my pendulums and i've been using like a piece of paper as a divination board and this feels like it was just perfect and i needed it um it has a little staghorn deer antlers and then the moon 
in the forest down here in CS Snow, maybe unsure, and I'll show you guys how to use it really, really quick. I have two pendulums. So this is the original pendulum that I got at, ooh, they're tangled. Eee, I don't like it. The original pendulum that I got at um, my local metaphysical store, it has the Triskel on it, which is the a Celtic um, symbol. And I thought it was interesting because I ended up working with Parnanos and I was drawn to this Celtic Triskel symbol. And it's also the Triskel or a rendition of the Triskel is often associated with Freya. So yeah, it kind of chose me. But basically what you want to do is you want to establish a yes no. And if you don't have that established already, so like my yes is a counterclockwise uh, motion and can my, my no is a clockwise rotation. Um, so the thing with pendulums is a lot of people will be like, you're moving your hand, you're moving your hand. That's the point. That's part of it. Pendulums pick up on your minor movements, your subconscious movements, and the idea is that you already know the answer to the question or something is channeled through you in order to slightly alter it and get an answer. So um, if I've seen some people saying you can't do it with deities, I usually prefer tarot cards with my deities, but I don't see any reason why, especially if you have a good relationship with them. But you always want to keep in mind your bias when using a pendulum. If you already asking for an answer to a situation and your mind is already like, I feel like this is the answer, you're going to have it swayed that way. So with a pendulum board, you can place it down and ask a question. I didn't ask anything. It's moving. Um, is Nath present? Nice. Yes. Is Fry Up Stronger? Yes. Is Edwin present? Very big yes. Oh, yes, maybe. Huh. But the idea is um, it's very easy to use and I love it and it smells like wood. Two other things I got. I got this Cleanse and Protect spray, which by the way, I want you guys to... I'm oh, gonna do it again. I love it. It's so satisfying. And it's very strong smelling, but it's like a good strong smelling. I'm gonna... That is the most powerful spray I've ever had. Am I supposed to use it on my body? We're gonna wait and see. We'll see if I get a reaction to this. I'm sure you can like spray it at things like that entity. Like, you know, I feel like that's a proper use. And then I have sunshine oil, which I'm just testing out everything today, which is really great for meditation is what she said. Don't, please don't eat these. By the way, I'll put it on my leg and on my head. Oh, it smells so good. I like to put a little anoint my third eye when I meditate and this is perfect for that. I used to do lemon eucalyptus, um, but you do a little like little right there. <laughs> it smells so good. Okay, anyways, please don't eat these products. I feel like that's bad. Now we're gonna do a nice little two moment thing because I have to put this lavender in this big lavender and then put these nails in that little thing. So you can watch me struggle with that. <laughs> Come on. Not my lavender is in my big lavender. Mm, huff lavender when you're anxious. It works like a charm. And then I'm gonna be putting these rusty nails um, in here. I think it's best to dump it out on my hand. Ooh, I dropped one. Sometimes I wonder like, is my stupidity hereditary or am I the only one in my family like this? Found it. Makes a nice sound. Okay, so yeah, I have a bunch of, I'm gonna move these little cute bottles be using those for my travel altar. Okay, and then I got a bunch of books. So I got so many books. It's a book from a while ago that I just love, so I'm endorsing it. This is called um, The Spirit of Herbs, A Guide to the Herbal Tarot. And so it's by Michael, Tierra, and Candace Canton. I think it's a, a guide to an, a, a tarot deck, but I just think it's a cool book, like without the actual tarot. That doesn't show anything. It associates each tarot card with an herb. So temperance is echinacea. And then it says, talks about the tarot card itself. And then talks about the herb, spiritual properties, medicinal properties, dose preparation, keywords, affirmation, and herbal allies. And it does that for every single major arcana, as well as the minor arcana. So queen of cups is ladies mantle, spiritual properties, medicinal properties, dose preparation, um, tells you about the herbs, keywords affirmation herbal allies so basically like it goes over everything and it has a bunch of really cool herbs so if i'm ever looking for like a particular herb i flip to the back valerian sun suspended person sweet grass sweet grass is really important i can flip through and find either the tarot card or the herb in the index flip to that page and learn more about the herb this very handy book i'll put it up there with like great books to get in herbal and then i got the encyclopedia of magical ingredients 
So the fun thing about this book, all of that is ingredients. And it has, instead of an index at the back, a table of what herbs are good for good things. So there's a success, stress reduction, wisdom, wealth, travel, spiritual, psychic power for purification, etc. cetera. Um, and I find that I'm doing I'm adding my own tables as well as adding to the book just because I'm used to like it gives me some space it's gonna look like the half-blood prince notebook from Harry Potter by the time I'm done but so I added some stuff to the hexing table here um that are in here and weren't listed I also there was some herbs I'll show you where I worked with the herbs but there was a specific herb that was good for um commanding truth or revealing truth that wasn't included that I added in but it has everything passion fruit peel it gives you the rule the type, the magical form. This is papyrus, so the magical form is paper, paper. parsley, fresh sprigs. Like it's pretty cool. And obviously, since it is a Wiccan guide, it does leave some stuff out. Stuff that has to do with commanding, commanding spells, certain types of banishments or bindings, etc. Oh magical love table. It has a love table, but it doesn't have a truth table or commanding table. The protection table is huge. It's huge. So it does, you know, miss on some stuff, but overall you can add in. There's like space to here to write in your stuff. And I think it's great to have on hand as one of the books you use for your herbal understandings. Same with the Spirit of Herbs. It's listed on my resources page in the Google Docs, which I'll have linked down below. You can click, it has a bunch of different books, websites, etc., to help you out. The next book I have is a beginner book, but like I just discovered that I'm a medium. I hate it. I'm kidding. My goddess candles are lit, so I'm like, hmm. <laughs> It's called The Psychic Witch, A Metaphysical Guide to Meditation, Magic, and Manifestation by Matt Aron. Uncover the secrets to becoming a powerful psychic witch. So it talks about being psychic, which every I think the idea is that everyone is a psychic, but not everyone is a medium. And he talks actually about, I'm in chapter like one, he talks about different waves, energetic waves. So gamma, beta, alpha, theta, delta. And he has an idea that the alpha wave is where we can get psychic thoughts or see past our physical senses De basically detecting energy that most people can't but animals can like animals can sniff out cancer um echolocation stuff like that things that animals know that we don't because we've evolved past the need to not sense those things but you can train it the idea is that reality is completely composed of energy, which is a really great basis for witchcraft as well. So there's basically a bunch of chapters with a bunch of different exercises to help you hone in on that and help you kind of go back to basics. And there was a quote in here that I wanted to share with you guys and I'll probably share on TikTok as well, which I really thought was fantastic. Just because something is basic or simple does not mean it isn't immensely powerful. I love that. You don't have to do advanced magic to be a powerful witch. And I'll be revisiting the basics as well and just re, re reaffirming it because I think that's an important thing to do as a witch, especially as you go forward. Then I got da -da -da, the Empath Survival Guide, which I read a while back and I just wanted my own copy from my, all my empath babies. This is a great book. It talks about like self assessments, how to stop absorbing other people's distress, affirmations, visualizations. It's such a good book. I love Judith Orloff. Um, it's Life Strategies for Sensitive People. So this is a really, what I consider one of the most basic books that every empath or highly sensitive person should have. And yes, I will link the books down below so you can take a look. Then I have A, Gu a Practical Guide to Pagan Priesthood by Reverend Laura O'Brien, Community Leadership and Vocation. This is more just something out of curiosity, but I'm unsure. Duties, responsibilities, challenges, benefits, becoming a priestess or priest. I'm just curious about priesthood and priestessing for multiple reasons, but this is very kind of like basic, but I think it would be interesting to like look into or read about or just research, you know? why not and I saw someone talk about this on someone else's page I'm feeling pulled to the book for whatever reason um I thought it was interesting I bought it and then my last book I'm excited about this one because it's a big book it's a big boy is Buckland's book of spirit communications I have been planning to get this for a long time especially since of um, house spirit it talks about different lessons 
um, channeling. Hold on. I'll go, I'll take you through it. I don't always agree with Buckland, but like, it's a great book. Um, oh, what is mediumship? So this directly talks about being a medium, which is great for me. The world of spirits, history of spiritualism, the early years, later development, spirit guides, spirit communication, talking boards, automatic writing, and spirit photography, trance work, sights, spirit sights, sounds, and sensing, touching the past, psycho physical mediumship, table tipping and levitation, what? Sorry, healing, channeling, development and development circles, electronic spirit contact. It's cool, okay? And like, since I'm a medium and I already just hear things and know things and stuff like that, this is gonna help me hone in on that as much as the Psychic Witch book is. So I'll be doing exercises with these. Ooh, astral bodies. Sorry, I got distracted. So as you can tell, it's a few hours later. I just got another package full of like witchy stuff from a friend of mine. Who I'll link um, her Etsy too. But she said there were a lot of goodies in here. Cut away from yourself. Don't be me, please. I'm opening this for the first time, by the way. I don't know. I don't know what's in here. Ah! De-stress aromatherapy rollerball. Mm. <laughs> can you tell I'm stressed? Okay, and then this is chonky. <gasps> I think I opened this the wrong way. Okay, so this is like a little jar of salt. Protection salt? It smells like Epsom salt, so maybe I'm supposed to use it. <laughs> Why am I like this? Wow, she sealed it with like this fancy stuff. Oh, don't rip it, don't rip it, don't rip it. Come on. Okay. I use, I reuse my string, by the way, in spells. Every piece of string I get. Open this baby up. So there's aromatherapy oil. So we're going to be a part of a witch school as a teacher, and then you're part of another TikTok page. Hopefully this helps you de-stress. Um, teas. Ooh, there are teas in here. Bath salts. This is their bath salts. And then there's can a candle. And she, oh, it's like a care, it's a care package. She's literally the sweetest human being. I swear, she makes everything with intention based on what I'm posting. So these are bath salts. I need to take a bath today. <laughs> so she has little cards written with intention on them. So the bath salts intentions are total relaxation, good vibes, self-acceptance. Um, they're good for grounding, pink salt, lavender, rosemary, rose petals. And then there's tea. This is the candle. Oh. Um, and I'll read about the candle too. And this is a prototype for her Etsy. So as you can see, there's like little, yeah, this is like, I'm gonna recommend her Etsy store because she's just so, she's such a caring individual. She's also a spoonie. So she has a chronic illness as well. Um, and it's just like these cute things. I keep all the letters she writes me too. Um, so yeah, that's kind of all I have. It's a lot. I also, um, and I want to be the most witchy that I possibly can, obviously, when I go back to school, which is really soon. I'm moving in really soon. Um, so you guys are going to get a lot of videos about maybe my move. Um, I'm going to be living in an apartment in the city by my university. Um, so I'll be talking about city witch tips. If you can't light incense, if you can't light candles, stuff like that. How do you continue your worship when you're not close to nature? When you can't walk outside and just go like touch the grass? How do you set up protections with a roommate? All those big questions that I think a lot of people who are in college, in college dorms, etc., struggle with. And there isn't a lot of info on it because, you know, witchcraft has this idea that you have to go out in nature and stuff for it to be accessible, or you have to be do this if it's accessible. And my goal is to make witchcraft accessible to everyone, um, especially those in the city, in cities, in apartments, tips like that. And, you know, trying to answer my questions on this YouTube channel and give a little bit more education than I can in a 60 second video on TikTok. Yeah, but that is kind of all I have for you guys. I'll link the books down below. I will also link the resource doc that I made for beginner witches. I think I may be making an intermediate and advanced as well, just so people can find good topics and can research more. But yeah, uh, say goodbye uh, to me and my tiny little jar of nails. But yeah, I will spend the rest of the day editing this video. Hope you will see it today or tomorrow. But yeah, I'm really excited to be sharing my journey with you guys. Thank you for stopping in. Sorry if this video was shorter. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.